everyone, welcome to Real-Time 3D Live, your source for what's going on in the world of real-time 3D animation. We've got a packed show for you this time around. The new 3D Exchange 5 has been released, so I'm going to tell you all about that. We also have our featured story, user showcases, and some news from our content store and user marketplace. And stay tuned to the end for our freebie giveaway. Okay, so let's get down to business. So yeah, 3D Exchange 5 has been released, and it's kind of a big deal. In version 5, 3D Exchange now supports formats such as FBX and BVH, which means that you can take basically any skin bone model or animation from your favorite animation software and bring it into iClone. In the past, a lot of what 3D Exchange focused on was bringing 3D props into iClone. You could organize them into sub-props and then make functional vehicles or any other type of object in iClone. Now, 3D Exchange allows you to bring any character in from your favorite software such as Daz, Maya, or 3ds Max and convert it so that it's compatible with all of iClone's powerful animation tools. If you're bringing in a character with a standard Daz, Maya, or 3ds Max bone rig, you can literally map the bones of your character in a single click and make it animation ready in seconds. Even if you have a custom bone rig that doesn't have a preset template available, you can still go in and map the bones yourself manually in no time at all. And it's not only human characters that can be converted either. You can also take non-human characters and rig and import them into iClone as well. If you want, you can even characterize them as biped figures and give them human motions. Now, for me personally, one of the coolest things you can do is to combine props together and make your own characters. This monstrosity was created by taking a bunch of stones, putting them together and rigging them in 3D Exchange. Kind of looks like the Iron Giant's stone cousin. Now, as if the Reillusion Motion Library wasn't big enough, the ability to support BVH and FBX formats really opens up iClone to motions from literally any source out there. There's a whole ton of animations out there on the wild and wacky internet, both paid and free. And the best thing is, they can all be imported into iClone. Remember that you can also bring in your own motion capture data as well as motions built from software like Motion Builder or Endorphin. So quite honestly, your animation options are now unlimited. So what exactly do you get with a 3D Exchange package, aside from the ability to do almost anything animation-wise? Well, we've thrown in a few bonus characters as samples to help you learn the ropes. First, we've got these beautiful Genesis characters provided by Daz in both FBX and iAvatar format, along with four BVH and four motion files. We've also got this Templar Knight character provided by Arteria 3D and longtime icon developer Big Boss. This badass looking dude has a 3DS Max Character Studio biped bone rig and comes in FBX and iAvatar format with an added sword accessory and three FBX motion files as well. And along for the ride is this cute little dude from 3D Universe in FBX and iAvatar formats. He comes complete with three iProp files and eight iMotion files and contains a custom bone rig as well. And if you want to see more content from Big Boss or 3D Universe, you can check out their individual pages for more. And if you're feeling a little lost, there's tons of tutorials out there provided by yours truly. The tutorials are categorized into three types. The pipeline tutorials show you how to take content from some of the main animation software suites out there, such as 3ds Max or Maya, and put them into iClone. The character conversion tutorials provide you with some help with refining your typos, as well as bone mapping and rigging tips. The motion conversion tutorials are there to demonstrate how to import in multiple animations at a time, import animations without a typos, and more. Now, as you may know, we recently had a little form activity for some of our users to show off some of the cool projects they were working on in 3D Exchange. iClone Wiki here took this Daz Studio character, modified him in ZBrush, and then exported him into iClone to show off his moves. Zakari impressed us with his detailed import of a Daz FBX character, complete with motions and external texture maps, to create this great final result. Planet Star Dragon was able to take this freaky looking dude from Messiah 5.0 into iClone, and show us how custom bone mapping works in the process. Vit3D shows us a great example here of how you can take a game character and give him some funky hip-hop moves straight from the iClone library. And your Win turns a non-human tiger into a non-standard character in minutes. Beastie. Finally, Sen shows us how to bring in a really cool motion created in Endorphin and use it in iClone. Eh, I'm sure that guy deserved it. Alright, so one more thing. You gotta keep this a secret though, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Coming out in June, we have the pipeline version of 3D Exchange 5, where you're going to be able to export FBX and BVH motions, as well as convert facial animation as well. Okay, so let's move on from 3D Exchange now to our featured story. 
Big Chief Entertainment is a fully integrated production company that specializes in music, video, film, animation, and live events. They pretty much do it all. Their most recent project is the amazing Megalodon, which is a professional movie made in iClone and features content from a number of iClone developers, including Will Vicky and Bit3D. Uh, Stefano De Carli, I am the director of animation for the Quest for Megalodon project. This is another example of using HDR lights in iClone. In this case, we have a sunrise. As you can see, these guys really know how to use iClone. Check out the featured page for more details on how they get things to look this good. Okay, so what's up with the content store? Well, the biggest news is that both of the official G5 clone cloths have been released. These are super versatile packs that include a number of stylish cloth bases from which to base your character's clothing designs. They also come with a bonus pack of outfits designed by some of our top developers, along with a tutorial from veteran outfit designer Ali, which walks you through the process layers. of designing That's your own styles. Now we have a complete outfit. And in the marketplace, we've also launched a new medieval historical theme, and there's tons of content available. Check out the theme section of the marketplace for more. And now for this month's freebie giveaway. And this episode, it's all about Daz. We'll soon be launching a Daz introductory pack that'll be loaded with Daz Genesis content and some belly dance and martial arts motions as well. Now for this month's comment, tell us what project you're working on with what software and how 3D Exchange is helping you along the way. Well, that's about it for this episode. So as always, have a good one and keep it real time. <laughs>